Hi, it's James Sabolski for EA Sports. Well, after an intense showdown in Game 1, we expect nothing less here in Game 2. We are just seconds away now from puck drop. zone moving forward here along the boards loves the puck into the corner of the offensive zone 
The Nailers take possession in the defensive end. And a smart heads-up play to poke that away by Martin. Tries to the crease. Decides to think about it. Along the half wall with the puck. Great pressure with the stick. From his own end, he picks up the puck. Grabbed along the board by Martel. Shot attempt completely fails on that. Slides the puck across to Martin. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Into the corner now. The Nailers get a hold of the puck in their own end. Right through, center it into the offensive zone. And he maintains possession of the puck here. Handles the puck. Indy's on the attack. Reaches out and uses the stick. We got a stoppage. Let's get the call. Important task for the PKers ahead of them. Up by one and a real opportunity protected. take to the ice for the first time tonight. Well, they earned this a power play, James, through hard work, and it's an opportunity to even the score here. They need to find a way to execute and get back to the even score. Puck clear from the defensive end. Good use of the body on the play. Drake's got the puck in his own zone. The Nailers work it through center. Cutting to the slot. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Does a great job with some great pushes to get to the top of his crease and make the save from a high danger area. And they clear that puck. Puck is grabbed here at center ice by Petrozelli. Lemus, penalty is about to expire. Wheeling's unable to capitalize on the power play, still trailing by a goal. And that's a missed opportunity, James. An opportunity to get the equalizer on the power play. Now down by one at even strength. They're going to have to find a way to muster up some energy. That one was deflating. Sends a pass over. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Wheeling's got it in their own zone. And he takes the feed. Takes it at center. Hill is setting up against the wall. Takes a shot. Oh, to nice up with the power save. As a goaltender, you have to be able to read and anticipate the play. He does it perfectly and is able to negate the shot. Oh, and he somehow got a little piece of it, and it stays out of the net. Tweaks really showing great rebound control, and what this does is it just cleans up the front of the net. The Nailers should play it from the defensive zone. Wheeling's got the puck against the half wall. We got a whistle. Penalty coming up. Well, the coach isn't going to be happy with this penalty. You have a one goal lead. And now you find yourself back on your heels. And the penalty kill has to come out and do a job. The Nailers send their man advantage unit out once more. Power play is struggling. You gotta find a way to get the puck to the net. And you have to have net front presence take away the eyes of the tender. You know they work on it from a young age. Anticipation, puck tracking, depth perception. Take away the eyes. Legs ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. Wheeling's won it, now they'll go on the attack. Loses his balance on the play. Here he is from the slot, and that goes off course off a of body. And the puck is moved to a safer spot on the ice. Behind the net, looking for the transition game. Takes the feed. Shot! Weeks hangs on to the puck to stop the play. Hope everyone's enjoying the game here tonight. Another big face-off here on this power play. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Indy's penalty killers get a hold of it. And the puck clears the zone. Penalty has expired. You've got to give the shorthand a big save. And just as time runs out. A lot of people excited.
excited as this opening period comes to an end. One of the all-time great rock acts from the 80s getting set to play here for these fans. And we'll catch our breath. Back with more in a moment. set to drop the puck here on period number two. Second frame is underway as the puck is dropped. Well, Cheryl, we got 20 minutes under our belts in this one. How do you sum up the performance? The Nailers are going to need to find the details in their game here, James. They're not winning face-offs. They're not starting with the puck. And there's a real reason why they're behind. Sends the pass down low. Sets it out front. Oh, and they couldn't complete that. Steps inside the line. Wheeling's got the puck along the wall. Gets a piece of it to make the save. This is an impressive save right here, James. I mean, there's a ton of net front presence, and so a lot of traffic that he has to battle through to find the puck, and he does. He makes a nice save. The Fuel have gained control of the puck along the wall. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Looking dangerous as they move along the boards. Wheeling's got the puck inside the defensive zone. The Nailers carry it along the wall. Indy's got a hold of the puck. And he takes the dish. Hillis plays the puck. Hammers a shot. He goes that one. And he takes the pass. Picks up the puck. Gates of the crease. Here he is in close. Blocked in front. Wheeling's gained possession along the boards. Indy's looking to break out. Gains the zone from the right. And down he goes as the puck goes free. Takes the feed from his own end. Oh, textbook hook check to turn that over. Fires it. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. Turned aside with the glove by Weeks. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. Indy's up one set. The Nailers win that offensive zone faceoff. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Weeks. Teams are set, they're ready to drop the puck. Can they take advantage after winning that draw? And he was ready for that save. Tosses it on to Kanye. Excellent stick work on the play. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. The fuel have gained possession off the wall. The Nailers have it now. Moves it to Bellavo. Slides the puck over. And he takes the feed. Great reach with the poke check by Hatfield. Oh, they telegraph the pass, and he picks it off. Indy's got the puck against the boards. The Nailers gain control of it. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Quick 
snap! Denies him in close. Buns plays it against the boards. Lemos is taken down, and the officials are signaling for a penalty. Martel's been nabbed for tripping. Possession. Carries the puck up through center. Stick feed. And that shot gets caught in traffic. Puts it on net. Stones him with the blocker. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. They'll get set to drop the puck as this power play continues. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Attempt to find the puck. Just incredible save, James. Martell's out of the box. He owes a lot of credit to that penalty killing unit. Power plays have the opportunity to really dictate pace and change the momentum of the game, and this one didn't do any of it, James. Certainly frustrated as they head back to the bench. More than half the period has expired. Indies ahead, 1 0. Fearlings won the draw inside the neutral zone. Gains the zone from the right side. Moves the puck. Throwing with the stop. That's a fantastic save by the goaltender, but his team has to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Those high-danger scoring chances eventually go in. Teams are ready for the draw. The line's been about to drop the puck. Indies won the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. And that's blocked in traffic. This is a golden opportunity there. You're in the slot, you gotta hit the net. The Nailers cross the line and gain the zone. Handles the pass. Quick pass to Hillis. He carries the puck up along the wing. Quick feed to Baker. And that's out of reach and out of the offensive zone. Puck scooped up by McDougal. Indy's in transition. The Nailers gain possession. Takes the pass. Looking for space inside the D zone. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. The Nailers gain control. Scores! And look at that, the rookie gets hit on the playoff scoring. Well, talk about embracing the nervous energy. Now he can take a breath, feel good about himself, and let the creativity flow. Well, this is an unlucky bounce, James. I mean, when you're a goaltender, you play your angles, you know your set positions, but you can't get set in a scramble like this, and it winds up in the back of the net. The Nailers have set this up to be a dramatic one tonight. They put themselves in a good position here at the end of the second period. Listen, it ain't easy to get goals in this game, but they got the equalizer, and it's a nice step heading into the third period. Wheeling's got a hold of it against the wall. Feeds the puck to Martell. Wheeling's got it across the line. Quick feed down low. Here's a short pass to Martell. Denies the shooter on that play. A player should never be left alone in the slot, but man, is the goaltender to task here. Gets out in front of it and makes the save. Wheeling's gonna play it along the blue line. And he's taken down the official's arm, signaling for a penalty. Let's get the call here. The Nailers don't like it, but they'll serve two in the penalty box. And a man advantage unit goes right back to work. You know, they haven't scored on the power play yet. 100% is not a number that you see typically. So they've got to find a way to just stay confident, trust the process and their skill sets. And that's a solid clearing attempt on the play. Takes the feed. Nearing the 40-minute mark of the game. Forces 
the turnover. Trying to come up with a huge defensive play to get this puck out of his own end. Right up Main Street and on the attack. Fires it on net. Just slide to the net. Kenji, no impact. Just need to do target shooting. Guess why? So you hit the net. You just got to get back to it and work on it. Good defensive stop with the poke check. There's the horn, 40 minutes in the books. We'll get a refresh for both the players, Ice, back with a third period next. Time to drop the puck here in period number three. Indy's going to have to work quickly here on this man advantage if they hope to strike. Both teams back to even strength as the power play comes up empty-handed, and we are still tied. That's a great job by this PK unit, James, creating some momentum for their team and getting out of it without getting scored on, and this is critical given that it's a tie game. Cameron stick-handling in his own zone. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. And he's pulled over to the ice and loses the puck. The Nailers take it along the wall. Off the outside of the post and stays out. I like the habits and the shot selection right there, James, but it goes off of the pipe, doesn't go in the four by six, and now they're chasing the game. Lots of time left in this period. We are all tied up in this one. Wheeling's got it, and they're on the attack. Moves it quickly over to Martel. And that goes off the glove and it stays out. Weeks comes up with another save and hangs on for the whistle. And Cheryl, I think he desperately needs a breather. Yeah, it's, his face looks red, doesn't it? I mean, he's been outstanding Ooh. and he has faced a ton of rubber tonight. Makes a good decision to hold on to this one. The Nailers win it. Long reach breaks up the momentum. The Nailers will play it in their own end. Oh, the officials saw that trip, and the hand is up. Here comes the call. You have to constantly remind yourself to move your feet and get closer to the action. You wind up reaching, you take the feet out of your opponent, and you wind up with a tripping call. Wheeling's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. They haven't scored on the power play yet, but they have another opportunity. The key to this one, gain possession so they can set up. Takes a shot, and will play on as that gets a piece of the glove. Wheeling's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. And that's knocked away in the defensive end by Baker. Too much congestion blocks the shot. What pressure here in the offensive end. And finally, they get it out easing the pressure. At center ice now, he grabs the puck. Oh, the save on the play! What an incredible save, no idea how he got to that one, James, and the shooter is absolutely stunned. What a stop. And that's poked away by McDougal. Indy's got the puck in the defensive end. Here they come inside the neutral zone. The Nailers get a hold of the puck in the open ice. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. Indy's got the puck along the wall. Baker's got it in the defensive end. Wheeling's got the puck here in the open ice. Sends it in front, and that's stopped. And it's a quick pass to Lee. Takes a shot. Oh, you gotta love the effort as he blocks that. Takes it away to stay on the attack. A little crashing and banging forces the turnover. Martin's moving the puck through his own zone. Indy's gained the line and into the zone. Martin's got it deep in the offensive end. Great save! And he denied that opportunity. And he slides it quickly to Jankowski. Grabs the puck at center. Here's a chance! How did he stop that one? A chance from the slot! Battle along the wall. The fuel have taken possession along the wall. Stopped by the goaltender. Look at this attack here in the ozone! Sean, what a stop right there! 
Tremendous pressure here in the offensive end. Oh, big hit on the play. Tries to the paint. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. The nail is moving in. A centering chance. And he denies that great opportunity there. Back to the blue line. It's a tie game. Taken by Cameron. Battle along the boards. And it's freed up over to his teammate with a nice kick pass. And the officials are calling a delayed penalty here. Looks like a trip. And let's see what the definitive call is on the ice. The Fuel have put themselves down a man tripping the call. once again send out their power play unit. A power play creates so much energy, and when it's just average, you can feel a bit deflated. Everyone expects a power play to score all the time. Guess what? It doesn't. Centering feed! Oh, he comes up with a stop. Heads deep inside the offensive zone. Takes a shot. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. Good battle along the boards for the puck. Gun is taken down to the ice. We got a penalty coming up. Martel's getting called for two minutes here by the officials. They'll play some four on four. Not typically that we see four on four action, although it's a lot of fun. You certainly know they practice it in practice. This is something that they're aware of. They know what they're doing. They want to possess the puck and try and create numerical advantage. The Nailers move the puck in the defensive zone. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. Weeks freezes the puck and opts for the whistle. A critical draw here. Wheeling's won the faceoff. Oh, the out of the play! Wow! Oh, that's a true competitor's save. Just when you think that he's completely out of it, James, he comes across with a desperation save to keep his team alive. Hillis will look to win the draw to continue this power play. Indy's going to start with the puck inside the offensive zone. Puts it on there. Oh, what a chance there! Well, it almost looked like he converted a quick release shot. He had no time or space, but unable to put it by. Gains the zone. Indy's got it behind the net. Clear it, clear it. Moved up ahead after a nice pass from the right wing. From the left side, they gain the zone. Moves it to Baker. Oh, what a save on the one-timer! Here in the later stages of this period, we got a tie game. Offense is on face-off, and he wins the draw. Here's a shot! And there's a club save on the play. This is a face-off. They'll definitely want to win here inside the offensive zone. Lemos has won the draw, and they'll go on the attack. Lees, he's all alone with the goaltender. Oh, and I think he got confused what he was going to do there. You can see him looking at the goaltender, whether he's going to shoot or deep, and while he's thinking, he's running out of real estate. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. Puck is dropped and we are back 
underway. Straight up the middle. Here they come. Takes the puck at the point. Indy's got it from behind the net. Final minute of play here in this third, and it's anyone's game for the taking. Plus save by the goalie. There's the whistle as the goalie hangs on. A lot on the line here in this offensive zone faceoff. Hillis has won the draw. The Nailers have it from their own end. Wheeling's got possession here in the neutral zone. Sends the pass over. On the attack into the offensive end, right up the gut. Poked away by Drake. Scoops up the puck now. The Nailers take it along the wing. Here's a shot! Turned aside by the goaltender. Weeks has been terrific tonight, James. I mean, he's faced a high volume of shots. His save percentage is through the roof, and he's really kept this game tight with his performance. Well, there you go. 60 minutes has been played out, and still no winner. So we go to sudden death overtime. Lock in, folks, because this should be electric. Stay with us. wins the defensive zone faceoff. Cameron's taking it from his own end. Moves it up. Takes possession. And that's broken up. The backhander off a stick. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. A critical draw here. Indy's got the puck inside the offensive zone. Takes that pass back at the point. And that goes off a player. Good hit to knock the puck loose. Quick pass across to Cameron. Handles the puck. Deep inside his own end, right in front. Can he get out of pressure? Indy's got the puck along the boards. Sends a pass over. Slides it to Lee. The Nailers going to work on offense. For the win! And he comes up with a huge save! Looking to make something happen along the boards. Wheeling's got it in their own zone. Feeds the puck to Lee. The Nailers looking against the half wall. And now it's grabbed by Beerling. The lane was plugged up, and that shot's blocked. Took it along the wall by Lee. Indy's got it in their own zone. Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. In front, and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. 
This is a face-off. They'll definitely want to win here inside the offensive zone. And they'll start with possession. Angles it over to McDougal. Lets it fly, and that's blocked. The fuel have it now. Makes it look easy with the stop. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Battle ensues for that loose puck along the boards. The Nailers will play it from the defensive zone. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Moves it to the middle. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. And does it again. Back at the point, they set it up. Look at the end it. Scores! They win it! They win it in overtime, and it's the rookie who comes up. Watch! And he gets his first overtime winner in the playoffs. I mean, impeccable timing. I mean, he's actually out there in the overtime, and then he delivers to get the game winner. Unbelievable. Well, this is just a fabulous shot. When you're in that high slot area, you know that you're going to be closed upon quickly, so you got to have a quick release. That's the first thing. And the second thing is the accuracy. If it's quick and it's on, you're going to score. Hey, Cheryl Pounder. I'm James Sabalski. The playoffs roll on in the next broadcast, and we know we will see you right then and there. Join us then. See ya.